Chase Tyler here at Mishawaka, Indiana District Event, checking in with original sustaining 45 Techno Cats, absolutely legendary team. We'll be talking about their crescendo robot here. A lot of great things going on with 45. Pay attention to this. Great under the bumper intake. We'll be going through a lot of their electronics, what they've been doing for that. I love their aesthetic. Uh, design that they have as well and we'll be going into their uh, shooter how they do the amp i just watched them a great amp score and they got a great climber as well let's learn more about this team coming up here on behind the bumpers this video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Trevor, let's start talking about the underbelly of your robot here. You have a fantastic electronics layout. Talk to me more about uh, really why it's so important to your team to have this great layout. So first, I like to start talking about, we like to thank a fellow team in our area, Cybertooth, who actually helped give us the idea, and our mentor, John, who helped to push us for this idea of having the, un uh, having the under bumper electronics because when we have them above the robot, it gets really crowded. Down here, we can have a clean layout and have them all set out so we know what to see. So you can see all like our Spark Maxes next to each other, all the electronics we need, and then they're all right next to our drive motors, so it's easy to get the drive motors to the Spark Maxes. Was there any uh, considerations in regards to when you were designing your robot to try to get everything packaged this way? Yes, we, designed, we decided early on that we wanted to do the under the bumper electronics because we thought if we have, the more space we have up top, the more space we have for the other aspects like our shooting and all like our intake and all the other aspects that we keep on top. So something that was always of consideration and you designed around it essentially, right? So yeah. very cool. Speaking about under the bumper, uh, you have an under the bumper intake as well too. Talk to me more about uh, your choice to go with under the bumper and how it's been working out for your team. So we decided to go with under the bumper because we practiced using like over the bumper before and we've learned they break really easily. It's a lot safer to have the parts under the like having them under the bumpers, it's a lot safer for the intake and it's very consistent getting the notes right down here. We just drive into them and they automatically get brought in there while we're running it. So it runs well underneath. You have probably one of the widest under the bumper intakes I've seen as well too. Is that something when you're looking at like, hey, objective wise, is something we really want to make sure we have in our robot? Yes, we wanted to have, make it wide because we decided that if we can have it from almost bumper to bumper, the more area we have to feed in there, the easier it is to get the notes. And are you able to pick up from both directions or is it uh, typically just uh, forward wise for you? It's typically only forward wise because mostly it will, this, this bar right here would we, we'll try and drag it while we're underward. So it's best if we drive forward into it because that's where it'll feed right into. Got it. Well, let's flip the throw it back over. We'll talk a little bit more about the intake and see it come in as well. This is the top half of our intake. So from here, you can see like the bottom and we have these belts that connect all of these little bars so that when we feed in a note, it will it will travel through these bands. And we tested the angle to see what angle we can have. So we tested the angle to get this like sharper angle so that the note will feed through and then it will get sent right to our shooter. So as you can see, it goes from underneath, gets fed right through here, goes through this angle just well, and goes gets fed right into the uh, right into the shooter. When we were designing it, we wanted to touch it, keep it mentality where we touch it under here and it's ours, it goes right through. So Kelton, let's talk about that uh, uh, shooter stuff and your amp score. Like I said, I watched your last match, great amp score and capability there, so break it down for me. Okay, so, so I'm gonna talk about the shooter and this is also the amp score. So here, we have a sensor here that stops the note uh, right before it gets to these wheels and these spin up uh, to shoot in the speaker. So that's how we shoot in the speaker. And our shoulder, is actually up here, so the joint's high, so that we have a, a high precision when it's rotating, um, instead of having it down here and, and really floppy. So this, so that's rotating for uh, for shooter, or for speaker, but then I can rotate it around, and uh, so it's gonna flip around. And this is for amp, so we can drive up to amp, and then use our feeders that took it from the intake, and, uh, and spit it out like this. And that just shoots it right down into the amp. 
And then we put it back, put it back like that. Key disable. So that's how that's how that works. Um, and we also have a limelight to align that that shooter uh, and get the right angles. When you're kind of going this uh, double feature here, uh, what type of testing did you do that made you discover this was going to work out well? Well, it, it was kind of a, a um, I don't, it was just kind of a realization. Like when we put this joint up here, we realized we're going to have all that that length right there that we can just flip around and use to somehow score in the amp. So we knew we wanted this to be precise up here. Uh, so then we just flipped it around and realized, oh, that could that could shoot down there. So uh, so that's what that's what we went with for that. Cool. Let's start to wrap up on this rod. Talk about the climber. Alex is going to cover uh, more about that. Uh, watch last match. You got all three robots. Your lines getting up on the chain was really cool. Talking about what your climbers are and the uh, versatility that it brings. Thank you. We always want to make it big on the end game. So one of our team members actually spent his time during the school work uh, to design this special hook that's meant to grab and lock a chain so it can't actually exit. We all see the climber in a box. So it's to since it's already pretty much a pretty made system. Basically, yeah, it goes up and down, but it does hook in it. The chain will stay because of this special little divot, and it will lock this, uh, whatever links hooked on place. Are you able to hang from uh, just one of these, or do you have to do two every time? Well, we can hang from one pretty confidently. Well, cool. is that something you think you're gonna use uh, in game strategy as well, too? We, we try to aim for two, but I think we can push you. We could try to do three, but it's all up to the game odds. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, 45, thank you so much for taking time. Tell us more about your Team Your Robot, a phenomenal machine that you have. We can't wait to see how you do here at this district event and go out through the rest of the season. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.